always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. I want to start off with this, an incident we're tracking. This is on M40 at 10th Avenue. Closed, you can see that with the dark purple color, and it's closed due to a downed power line. We are still expecting the wind to continue to be pretty powerful for at least the next hour here. And that goes for basically everyone in West Michigan. So some continued pop-up power outages possible, even some down trees. Please be very careful as you're out and about and driving. Still a possibility as we go through this evening. Rain, not so much. We are going to continue to dry out as this system lifts off to our northeast. But the peak wind gusts have been pretty powerful today, hence the reason for the wind advisory being issued. And some of the strongest gusts that we've had reported at some of our official observation stations have been upward of 50 miles per hour, 51 miles per hour in Hudsonville, 52 for Grand Rapids, 55 in Muskegon, and many, many in the 40s. Usually when we see wind gusts in the 40 mile per hour range, that's strong enough to knock down some tree limbs, but it's when we start getting in the mid to upper 50s that we can see some of the trees beginning to take a toll. So please be careful as you're out and about, and then after 8 o'clock, it's still going to be breezy, but we shouldn't see as strong of winds gusts. Technically, our wind advisory goes until 2 a.m. And after that point, we can really settle down. By the time we get to tomorrow morning, winds only gusting to about 20, which is still breezy, especially considering on a Saturday, usually a lot of people are out and about. But it's manageable, especially compared to today. So this is all an attachment to the system that's been impacting us for the last day or so. Now we're just getting the wind component, and it really has delivered. This is the future cast for 10 o'clock tonight. You can see winds moving out. And by the time we get to Saturday afternoon, it should be sunny, widespread sunshine, and the high clouds should hold off until after dark. As we get into Sunday, a better chance of a pop-up shower. We're not expecting much. This is in conjunction with a warm front that whiffs through, and as the warm front lifts through, it helps to bring warmer air. 70 for Sunday as a result. We stay near 70 for Monday with sunshine. Showers and storms move through for Tuesday and Wednesday few residual rain showers and a cool down for Thursday and Friday.